All right, class. Uh, so this is an illustration of the minor axis uh, stability or instability um, theorem. Uh, so there are tons of demonstrations on the internet about the intermediate axis theorem, but apparently it's harder to illustrate the um, minor axis theorem. So I'm, I'm doing this on a uh, what's actually an axisymmetric uh, satellite. Uh, so, in theory, this satellite should be uh, stable about any of its axes because it's axisymmetric. Okay. And we I can. Found this on the web for... That's Siri. Uh, so, here it is. Right. It's got blue on the top. I put little stars on the side. Hopefully, that helps with contrast. And normally, I would demonstrate this in class uh, where there are higher ceilings, but due to uh, you know home restrictions, I have to do it here. So hopefully you can see me. I think you can. Uh, so I'm going to throw it up. I'm going to. This is uh, without damping, so there's no energy dissipation in this one. This, this is an empty box. Right? So you can use this with any sort of axisymmetric thing, as long as you can introduce damping. Now I'm going to spin it up, and I'm going to spin it around its intermediate, well, its minor axis. Right? It has a, a major axis and two minor axes. It doesn't matter which one I choose, so it'll be a minor axis. So I flip it up. See, it looks pretty stable. Right? Spins, spins, no tumbling, no change of ro at rotation axis at all. Right? Spin it faster, spin it higher, I could miss it, drop it on the floor, something like that. Straightforward. Now, let's introduce a bit of damping. So to introduce damping, it's a little bit tricky, it's not, not that hard. I've got, uh, I've got a bunch of Allen wrenches that were laying around the house. I'm going to sort of pad the, uh, the, the spacecraft so it doesn't produce too much noise. It doesn't make like loud bangs when it, when it hits. Uh, and I'm going to fill my spacecraft with Allen wrenches. So this is uh, the weirdest uh, space mission you've ever heard of, but here it is. Uh, and then I'm going to put a little bit more damping on here so it doesn't make too much noise. And then I'll reattach the hood of the spacecraft. So, it's firmly in place. Now, hopefully, this one should have more damping. And so, as the energy dissipates, it will move from spin about its minor axis to spin a slower spin about its major axis. We hope. Well, we'll see how it works. So, I'm going to flip it up like this. Uh, and when it comes down, hopefully, you should see it spinning around its major axis. So it'll be spinning sideways. The original spin, if I flip it up that, the spin axis is still here. The angular momentum vector is still here, right? But uh, it's about an intermediate axis. And when it comes down, hopefully, it'll be spinning about this axis. So here we go. Let's give it a shot. wobble in there at the end. Sometimes it gets cleaner than others. But that was a pretty good one. So there you have it. Uh, energy dissipation causes a switch from spin about the uh, major axis, or the minor axis, or one of the two minor axes here, uh, to spin about the major axis at the end of the flight, and that happened fairly quickly.